Hi. Uh, what you see right here is a 2-liter GM Ecotec engine. It's a four-cylinder engine, and in each of the cylinders we have pressure sensors installed. The signals from those pressure sensors are being sent to this big blue box right here, which is an AVL Indy set. And on top of the AVL Indy set is a Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi has a custom circuit board mounted on it that I designed and built to do the exact same thing as the Indy set, to read in the pressure signals, to read in the angle of the crank from an encoder, to run heat release calculations. But what it's doing differently is it's actually controlling the engine right now over a controller area network, or CAN. It's doing this all in sub-millisecond real time and in real time under Linux. Here is our DC dyno, and it's being used to hold the engine at a constant speed right now. As I walk next door, I'm just going to say a little bit about the algorithm itself. The algorithm is an adaptive machine learning algorithm that is learning the combustion patterns as they are happening in real time, uh, adapting to the current uh, engine behavior, and then issuing a control command based off of that. Over here on the left is our interface to the big blue box. In the center is our interface to the Raspberry Pi, and on the right is our engine settings interface. Each of the black traces that you see right here are the pressure signals from all four cylinders, measured as a function of the angle of the crank. The red trace that you see moving back and forth is the injection command for cylinder one. Uh, there's a similar uh, trace for all four cylinders, it's just only one is shown right now. Here you can see the user interface to the Raspberry Pi, uh, which is running in real time within the web browser. And along the bottom, I have these colored dots. These colored dots are predictions one cycle ahead into the future uh, from that machine learning algorithm. They're predicting the combustion timing. You can see that more work needs to go into control, uh, but if you turn the control off, uh, you can get this near chaotic behavior. Uh, this behavior is very undesirable, and the algorithm can predict it. Uh, one thing that should be noted is that the settings are all the same for all cylinders right now. It's just that they all behave differently. If you were to turn the control back on, you can make the behavior go away.